and the base, which where the drone would be and the ostinato, which are two of the four principles to Georgian polyphony, the other two being parallel motion and free polyphony, both of which would be found in the upper two voices, um, though occasionally the bass would participate as well. And here's an example of Georgian polyphony. Uh, it is three part. We just have two of them holding the bass because it is easier to do that. Put it that way. We are world vision, and we believe in Instrument. 
and the Tico Tico is a small concertina, usually accompanies dances and is traditionally only played by women. Okay. Having trouble with corners and edges while laying wooden flooring? Difficulty while installing screen? music today. With developments in recording technology, it was made easier to share music around the world and Georgian music became much more prominent at the beginning of the 1900s. In 2003, the International Research, Research Center for Traditional Polyphony was founded with the Music Department and Music Conservatory in Georgia. The center is leading the historical research not only into Georgian polyphony, but Georgian folk music as well. Ensemble Ali, Excuse me, the Ensemble Alione is a contemporary vocal group with eight members that performs traditional Georgian music, sharing this music's history and ancient sound. So these are some of the members of the Ensemble Alione performing a traditional song. 